Hey everybody, another video today, although I guess technically it's tomorrow. Yeah, it's uh, quarter to two in the morning and I should probably sleeping, but I'm not. So, yeah, I'm not a subscriber of mine named uh, 1-800-COCAINE has suggested that I start up a video series similar to Dr. Jason J. Campbell's Discussions and Philosophy series. Um, so I thought, okay, uh, sounds fun enough. Um, I don't know that I have the subscriber base to do this, but you know, my subscriber base will increase over time, I guess. Uh, anyway, so today, uh, in this episode, I'm going to talk about an epistemology topic, uh, more specifically the synthetic a priori. Now, when David Hume, a brief exposition, when David Hume uh, was writing back in the 18th century, he uh, defended a concept which is now known as Hume's Fork. And the idea is that there are two types of knowledge. The first type of knowledge is knowledge based on the definitions of words, and this knowledge could be known independently of experience. I don't need to go out and interact with the, with the world in order to know that a bachelor is an unmarried man, right? So, and then the other kind of knowledge is uh, knowledge that has content that isn't just a restatement of the definition of the word, but it uh, needs experience in order to verify it. So, for example, if I say the cat is on the mat, that's, uh, that has content because cats aren't on the mat by definition, and I need experience in order to know that there is in fact a cat on that mat. And in this case there isn't, but there should be. A while ago I did a video series explicating a third kind of knowledge. Um, this knowledge is called analytic a posteriori knowledge. And it's basically knowledge that's based on the definitions of words. It's a statement of the definition. But you still need experience. You still need to go out and interact with the world in order to get that kind of knowledge. So analytic a posteriori knowledge. And I defended the, this kind of knowledge in the video series. But the question now is what about a fourth kind of knowledge and a slightly less controversial kind of knowledge uh, synthetic a priori knowledge uh, this would be knowledge that has content but you don't need experience in order to know it and this kind of knowledge has been stated by Kant but attempts to grasp this kind of knowledge actually go back to the first philosophers who tried to deduce a priori the nature of the world, right? They tried to get knowledge that had content without interacting with the world. So, you know, Kant identified this as metaphysics, and uh, he said metaphysics is a kind of synthetic a priori knowledge. Another kind of a priori knowledge, Kant says, is the conditions for knowing anything about the a posteriori world, because our minds have certain synthetic a priori concepts that we use as kind of a mold, a structure that we impose on the world around us, and which allows us to make sense of that world. So things like causality, space, time, um, substance, those are all things that our brain, our minds impose on the world around us so we can make sense of it. 
that's synthetic a priori according to Kant. Another good example that Kant gave was mathematics. He argued that uh, because mathematics is known a priori and it's synthetic, uh, in other words it has content because it's not just based off of, uh, in order to know that 7 plus 5 equals 12, that's not just based off the definitions of 7, 5, 12, plus, and equals, right? And Kant gave an argument for this in his Critique of Pure Reason. I'm not going to restate it here. But, so the question here is, what, uh, what do you consider to be synthetic a priori knowledge? Do you think any kind of knowledge can be gained in this fashion? Do you think it's possible to gain knowledge that has content without needing experience to verify it? Um, and kind of the big thing is, what about mathematics? Is it analytic or synthetic, do you think? So anyway, that's uh, going to be the discussion in this episode. So uh, there you have it. Synthetic a priori what constitutes it, mathematics, so, um, discuss.